Yeah, I'm getting there. Can I get an ambulance to my location, thanks? And I've got a female, she's just come off her motorbike at high speed. She's got a deep laceration to her right leg. Looks like it's down to the bone, bleeding heavily. The Tactical First Aid Project is a course of training that allows police officers to apply medical interventions to most traumas that we'll actually come across. So mostly penetrating traumas, but also um, any other type of blunt force trauma as well. It's all right, Dodge. Keep breathing. It's all good. You're going to be fine. Recruits all the way up to commissioned officers are receiving the training. So approximately 11,000 police now within the service are trained in Tactical First Aid. We've, uh, we've just packed a okay. deep, deep, deep laceration. Deep. Is there any bone showing yes. through at all? Yes. Okay. Okay. She said she's lost feeling below okay. the wound. All right. Conscious. Conscious. Yeah. How are we doing? Hey, mate, what's your name? We've used tactical first aid from doing simple welfare checks to vehicle and motor accidents. The first people that actually did the curriculum immediately used that for a tourniquet application inside a downed aircraft. The pilot was trapped. Uh, by the dashboard, um, he had both thighs crushed under the collapsed dashboard, uh, which caused severe hemorrhaging uh, in both of his legs. So working with QAS, who tourniqueted one leg, Queensland Police officers also tourniqueted the other thigh simultaneously. The project was really kicked off by myself, uh, looking at how I've been affected by dealing with trauma and, and uh, persons dying whilst I've been on the job. Uh, and from there I sort of looked at the fact of how much it affected myself personally and then how I can I go about removing and mitigating some of those stresses as well. Dealing with thoracic trauma when we locate a sucking chest wound, we're going to apply a chest seal to that. We were nominated uh, for the World Class Policing Awards for their inaugural event which was held in London this year. Um, we were lucky enough to win the awards uh, based on the elements of saving lives. To be nominated was an exceptional uh, thing. To actually win it was just something that I really can't put words to. He's ready. He's ready. Yes, he is ready. By us being able to now to get in there and, and actually help people out from innocent bystanders who have been hurt to mental health patients, uh, even to persons involved in criminal activities. Um, at the end of the day, we're just trying to do our jobs and um, keep people alive.